William of Orange um, ascended to power in England. Uh, the Stuarts were Stuarts, right? Were overthrown. Uh, and what happened, or, uh, some of the undercurrents that were there that were very important in, in the Glorious Revolution was that it re really established the importance of Parliament, number one. Parliament became permanent, I think, ever since 1688. Parliament has met every year. Prior to that, sometimes the kings would not allow Parliament to meet and so on, but Parliament became very, very important. And as a result of that, representative government was established as well, and you had to have qualified people in the House, in the, in the House, in the House of Commons, House and, and the Lords, and so on. And so it became a concern that these people who were going to fulfill these particular uh, areas had to be educated. So far as the state was concerned, it was no longer the education of princes, but the education of gentlemen subjects. That's what was known as citizens then. That was paramount coming out of the Glorious Revolution. And that's what I want to concentrate on in the Glorious Revolution. A number of things went on, a number of subcurrencies, Barone details and others detail as well, happened. But I, what I'm concentrating on is this term citizens. And also, as I mentioned, it was about securing representative government. That was another undercurrent that came out of that and transferred itself over, over, to, over to the colonies.